Secretary Ken Salazar's first steps into the Great Plains Sin Fuels plant are greeted with handshakes, hugs, and talk of the future. You're leading the way. Salazar is the United States Secretary of the Interior. He was invited to tour the Sin Fuels plant by North Dakota's congressional delegation. Senator Byron Dorgan says he wants the secretary to see the largest coal-based carbon capture project in the world. He was told by the president that he's going to have a significant part of energy. He's not energy secretary, he's interior, but he's going to be part of the troika in this White House that works on energy. As secretary of the interior, Salazar oversees departments like the Bureau of Land Management and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. In the Sinfuels plant model room, his tour guides show him how carbon dioxide is captured during the coal gasification process. Chief Operations Officer Gary Loop and Basin Electric CEO Ron Harper answer Salazar's questions and tell him about another project Basin Electric is planning to try to capture the carbon dioxide from a full-scale operating power plant. That's never been done before, but Harper says Basin Electric can use the experience we've gained capturing, compressing, and transporting carbon dioxide from the Sinfuels plant. I learned uh, that there's still a lot of technology that uh, needs to be developed and that this is a very expensive kind of process. After the model room, the tour group heads out to the carbon dioxide compressor building. Finally, they get to the area where carbon is injected into an underground pipeline and sent to Canada, where it's used to get more oil out of wells. There is a lot to learn about the future of coal right here, and I was excited to actually see a demonstration project uh, that's actually up and functioning and working. Salazar is only the second cabinet-level leader ever to visit the coal gasification plant. The first was Department of Energy Secretary Hazel O'Leary back in 1994. Here she poses for a photo with Bob McPhail. Six years later, the plant started capturing carbon dioxide. Salazar's visit shows more people are showing interest in the Great Plains Sin Fuels plant and what it could mean for future carbon capture technology. Basin Electric and Great Plains is right at the forefront of all of this. This is the place for people to come and see, to understand, we can do this. This is not impossible. We can continue to use coal and do it in the right way. For Basin Electric, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen.